What do you got for me? Ew, a rotten banana. I'm blindfolded, can't see a thing. I don't know what I'm about to be handed, and there's a lot of the same when it comes to our elections. We have no idea what's going into the campaign coffers and who's actually spending money to try to influence and buy our elections. The fight of my career has been on dark money. What do you got for me? Oh, let's hope it's not some crazy cologne that'll smell forever now. Oh, it is. Look at what you've done to me now. This smells a lot sweeter than the corrupting influence of toxic money in our elections, for sure. It's rotting democracy to the core. If we're ever going to address so many of the big challenges that we're talking about, from climate change, income inequality, making sure that health care is affordable and accessible for all, if we don't address corrupting influence of outside dollars and the undisclosed dollars, it's going to be that much harder to address all these other issues. Do you have another item? Nothing like a good rotten banana to make my day. At some point, this rotten banana stinks. And you know what stinks? Over a billion dollars has been spent in our federal elections in the last decade from groups that don't disclose where that money's coming from. Do you have another, uh, anything else for me? A number of hopefully good books. You want to guess which one of those two books is the Mueller Report? I got a feeling this one's the Mueller Report. It's not quite as well read as War and Peace over here, or whatever that might be. Same day that Trump was with Putin in Helsinki, Secretary of Treasury announced, well, we're going to get rid of this little rule that requires these dark money groups to collect the names of their major donors and give them to the IRS. Now, literally, someone from Russia could give to the NRA or someone else, and not even the IRS would know where that money's coming from to influence our elections. It's a big old cup full of something, for sure. Money. In Montana, we passed a law that said 90 days out from the election, if you're going to spend in our elections, you have to disclose every single nickel during those last 90 days. Another thing that we did in Montana, uh, I signed an executive order that said, if you want to contract with the state of Montana, you have to tell us every different way you're spending money to try to influence our elections. And that's what I would do as president on the first day. The US government contracts with dang near every corporation in America. That sunshine and that transparency, it ought to dry up quite a bit of the dark money spending that we have right now. Not unlike so many horror stories that we're seeing on a regular basis, the horror stories are in our elections. They're when, at the end of the day, folks turn around and say, my voice and my vote doesn't even matter. When tax cuts are being written literally because our senators say we have to do this to make our donors happy, they begin to think Washington, D.C. doesn't work for them. It's got to be a doll head. That'd be my best guess. What this illustration really is, is, is you're handed things and the American people are handed things each and every day. And somehow they're supposed to process, where's the truth in it? At the end of the day, we're all equal at least once every two years. And that's on election day. And our vote is our voice. We have an obligation to make sure that everyone knows that they can influence the elections. And they have more influence than any corporation that doesn't disclose their dollars. That's one of the reasons why I've taken on this fight to ban dark money out of our system.